Being a Stanley resident for so many years, I born in Stanley, I grew up in Stanley. We have a close relation with the regiment in the past decade, and we're very sad to see them leave, leave this place. I will sad <laughs> because it is the beautiful place to, to visit. Now it's closed, it's a, a mystery. But all good things come to an end. I dare say the Black Watch will be off to uh, do some uh, good work somewhere else. Military hardware was on for display and practice. <laughs> but it seems the musical instruments stole the show, with bagpipe and bugle competitions filling the air. Today's event marks an end to a chapter in Hong Kong's history, but many say they'll be leaving with not only their instruments, but also fond memories of the territory. For us, it's a job with a difference. You know, it's, uh, we are more, uh, our job here is more public orientated. And many hope the tradition will continue. Um, I hope that after 1997 or even after the British Army leave Hong Kong, people can still play the bagpipe and uh, join a play, uh, pipe band and play. And there's a good chance for that already. Uh, the bagpipe is probably one of the most difficult instruments in the world to play. And I was very surprised to arrive in Hong Kong and find so many ethnic Hong Kong people playing our instrument. And I was really proud of that, and I've done very well. As Hong Kong's military tradition winds down, many can find comfort in knowing its musical heritage lives on. Where do -si doing your partner was the order of the day. The day-to-day -day hardware of soldiering was never far away and drew its fair share of interested youngsters. For all those who turned up, the Black Watch's goodbye to Stanley Fort was a farewell to be remembered. James Wright, TVB News.